When a Boeing 737 takes off, the autopilot cannot activate until 800 feet above the ground. On an Airbus, you can turn it on at just 100 feet. So, why the difference? Boeing's rule is hard-coded, no autopilot below 800 feet after departure. It's built into the flight control computer. The idea is simple, let the pilot fly the plane and only hand over to automation once you're stable and climbing. Airbus does the opposite. Their logic? If the system is capable, let it fly early. On an A320 or A350, autopilot can engage as low as 100 feet above ground level. It's allowed, certified and pilots train for it. Because Airbus trusts the software from liftoff, Boeing prefers you fly manually longer. They want the pilot in the loop until the departure is well stabilised. And on older 737s, without full fly-by-wire, hand flying also gives better awareness of trim, rudder and pitch feel. It's part philosophy and part legacy design. This difference changes how takeoffs feel. Airbus, you can go from wheels up to autopilot on in 10 seconds. Boeing, you'll be flying manually for the first 30 to 45 seconds minimum. Neither is wrong, just different priorities. Trust the machine versus trust the pilot. Some pilots love the manual control Boeing gives them. Others prefer Airbus precision from the start. But ask yourself, would you rather your plane fly itself at 100 feet or let the human stay in command a little longer?